Adding to the already impressive Saruri 50mm anamorphic lens is the Saruri 35mm 1.8, 1.33x anamorphic cinema lens. For all those cinematographers out there, this video is for you. Let's check out what this lens is all about. Before we kick off the review, we're giving away one Saruri video tripod to one lucky viewer. To learn more about those giveaway details, hang around until the end of the video. And now let's kick off the review of the Saruri 35mm anamorphic lens. Comparing this lens to a lot of standard lenses, you get a lot more benefits, especially in video. First off, you'll be able to film in a squeezed image and once you de-squeeze it either in camera or in post-processing, you can get a wider image and that's what gives you the black bars at the top and bottom as you would see in most movies. Secondly as well, you're going to get unique lens flares out of the lens too because of its unique construction. So let's go and dive deeper into the features of the Suri 35mm anamorphic lens. So looking at the lens externally, you'll notice that it is made of a pretty good construction. It is metal and it feels quite solid. At the front, you do have a 67mm filter thread. So if you do want to attach any kind of polarization filters or any other filters at the front, you can easily do so. And then you've got two rings. So the first ring is a manual focus ring, which is nice and smooth throughout. And then you also have an aperture ring at the back as well. Now using the manual focus ring, you do have your distances on board and you will notice that the minimum focus distance is 85 centimeters, which is a lot further than a standard 35 mil. So keep that in mind when you're using this lens. One of the most unique things about the Saruri 35 mil anamorphic is that you can interchange the mounts. So if you take the lens off and unscrew the back, you'll be able to convert it into multiple mounts by buying optional mount accessories. As standard, it comes with Micro Four Thirds, so you can mount it on your Olympus and Panasonic Micro Four Thirds cameras, but you can buy mounts for the Canon EFM mount, the Nikon Z mount, as well as the Sony E mount. So just simply unscrew the back, put on the new mount, and you'll be able to use this lens on another camera without needing to fiddle with buying adapters. And speaking about accessories, you can buy gears for this lens by Surui. So you can mount a pro grip onto the focus as well as the aperture ring and pair it with a follow focus. You'll be able to mechanically focus and change your apertures as well by simply just rotating in a more ergonomic way. On the inside of the lens, you have a unique construction with 13 elements in nine groups and 10 aperture blades. On top of that, it is properly coated, so you're gonna get some pretty good image clarity. And going through the aperture range, it does open up to f1.8, giving you amazing low light performance and extremely nice bokeh. On top of that, because it is an anamorphic lens, you're gonna get some pretty unique looking bokeh when you do de-squeeze the image. And then the high end of the aperture range, you can close it down to f16, making this lens quite versatile in a variety of lighting environments. So just some initial impressions on the Suri 35mm. So first off, construction is amazing. It's lightweight and because it is metal, it feels quite premium. Secondly, the aperture ring feels super nice. The resistance on it is really great and the range of it is not too small, but not too large. So accessing between f1.8 to 16 is quite easy and rotating through it is really nice. The only thing is the manual focus ring. So the manual focus ring, you do have to rotate it quite a bit, which is fine, but um, we're not sure if it's our demo unit, but the ring is quite loose. Um, however, if you do pair it with a follow focus unit, you're gonna get more accurate focusing anyway. So we probably recommend doing that. One of the other things that I do like that about this lens is that it does have a 67mm filter thread. Now most anamorphic lenses you won't be able to attach filters on without adding on a matte box or another accessory. But because it's just a circular 67mm thread, which is really easy to get filters for, just attach it onto the front and away you go. You don't need to add the extra bulk of any other accessories on top of that. Now, one thing I'm really impressed by with the Suri 35 anamorphic lens is the image quality. The images look really good. They're super clear and really unexpected, especially for the price point of the 35 mil. 
Normally with cinema lenses, they're quite expensive, but the 35mm anamorphic Suri lens costs just under $1,400 Australian. And there really is nothing on the market like this. The bokeh on it looks really cool. Um, the light flaring effect looks pretty cool too. You do get that nice blue streak. Now pairing this with the 50mm anamorphic lens and the soon to be released 24mm Sururi anamorphic lens, you're gonna have a pretty good cinema lineup that won't break the bank. So if you're a user of the Micro Four Third system or the EFM Canon or the Nikon Z, um, or the Sony E-mount, you're in luck because you can get a fairly good cinema lens system for such a good price that you basically can't get anywhere else. So final thoughts on the Suri Anamorphic 35mm. It's a great bang for your buck lens and if you're a cinematographer or videographer that's looking to just get that cinematic look without the breaking the bank and still getting some cool effects as well, we highly recommend the Suri 35mm 1.8 Anamorphic lens. If you have any questions about the Saru 35mm anamorphic lens, pop them in the comments below, or if you're in Sydney, head into our store. Now, for more details on the giveaway that I mentioned earlier for the Saru video tripod, make sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, but also head to our Instagram page, which is in our description below, for the full details on how to win the tripod. Now, as always, follow us on our socials, on our Facebook, Instagram, and our blog to stay up to date with our latest events, promotions, and giveaways. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and the subscribe button so you can keep doing what we love and deliver videos to you weekly.